Yo, what's up guys, it's Sneaker Hand the Bay. Thank you for tuning in. This is a brand new series called Sneaker Tips. This is episode one. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe at the end of the video and let me know your feedback on this. Um, first off, big shout out to my boy Vinny for letting me pick up another pair of 2000 Space Jams. On the left side, I've had those for a while. I iced those out. On the right side, those are a brand new pickup. I'm thinking of leaving them yellow just cause it just gives age and character to the shoe, but that is just my opinion. And um, and yeah, the reason for this video, basically, I'm sure that at some point of your sneaker career, sneaker, sneaker hunting, you're going to find some used shoes and you are going to purchase those used shoes. Now this is just my tip on how to go about um, purchasing after after purchasing them so yeah let's just get into this video real quick all right guys so i just got these 2000 jams and this this video is not meant to put anybody underneath the bus or anything like that it's not meant to throw anybody underneath there but um maybe the owner that you got the shoes from have stinky feet or something like that Vinny. i'm not talking about you all right but i'm just saying like maybe the owner the previous previous owner has some stinky ass feet or the insoles look gross and shit so um this is just how I would go about it. The reasons to do it. First off, your feet, they sweat. You know, it's a shoe, you have a sock on, they still sweat. Sweat is bacteria, and bacteria is in your shoe. So, basically what I like to do is I like to sanitize the whole shoe before I actually wear it. Now, that is that should be enough for you guys, just enough to do it um, from now on. So. Let me teach you guys how to do this. Alright guys, for this video you are going to need three things, or four things. You're going to need alcohol, you're going to need a rag, and the vacuum cleaner is optional but I'd highly recommend it. And then you would need Fresh Fogger by Soft Soul. I will try to link everything in the description. Any, any vacuum cleaner would work, anything that just gets stuff out of your shoes. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. First step. Take out the insoles. Now this is a replacement insole from the Concords and yeah. So first step, take out the insoles. Second step is you want to unlace the shoe. Um, this just gives you a better reach at everything inside so you have um, just better leverage on everything. So just unlace everything, like so. Real simple, real easy, you just lace it later when they're all cleaned up, and we get to go. Third step is to get your vacuum cleaner and just go ahead and vacuum the inside of the shoe. And pretty much this is just gonna get all the dirt, everything like dog hair, everything like that, just out of the shoe. So that is um, the first thing you need to do. I'm gonna mute the vacuum cleaner because it's hella loud, but just do that. Once you do that, you need to get your alcohol, pop the cap open, and your rag as well. And pretty much the goal of this is get all that bacteria out of the shoe. Alcohol is, um, it dries really quickly. It gets rid of bacteria, that's why I use it on cuts. It dripped a little bit. Um, so yeah, it won't damage your shoe, it won't do anything. It'll just make it a little bit wet. But pretty much all you're gonna do is just wipe the insides. And um, maybe you're wondering, will this mess something in the shoe? Um, the only thing I've experienced it messing something up is the tag. So just stay away from the tag on the inside because the ink might come off. But other than that, you just wipe the inside of the shoe until you get all of it with alcohol just to cure, kill all the bacteria that's on the inside. Alright guys, next you want to get your vacuum cleaner again and just vacuum the insoles on the bottom and on the top. Maybe there's some dog hairs, sock lint, anything like that. So you just want to get rid of all that right now.
Once you're done with that, guys, you want to repeat that alcohol process, but just to the insoles, because um, this is where the actual foot is. So just make sure you wipe it down with alcohol. And make sure it gets wet. Um, in this situation, I'm trying to stay away from the Nike Air on the heel because, um, just cause, like, I don't want the Nike Air to be all rubbed out and stuff. So I'll go around it in this situation. And you guys could do that too if you guys have a jump man or something else. Just, you can stay away from it. No big deal. Just go around it. But this is just a really good way to just make sure the bacteria is, um, whatever bacteria that was there is killed. So yeah, this is just one of my sneaker tips. I do have a lot more. Um, just get it super, uh, super clean right now. So yeah, last step right now. Last step is to get your fresh and fogger fresh fogger and um, just spray the inside of the sole without the insoles in first maybe get rid of all the um, smell if it smells and you can put the insoles in it will just dry eventually because the alcohol does dry up so put the insoles back in the shoe like so and then you can spray a little bit again on the insoles and I'd leave this in the ventilated area because this stuff is kind of strong. But it will go away eventually. That is how you sanitize your used shoes, guys. Remember to please like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. Catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.